bad anxiety and just be happier in life. So thank you for that. So here are some questions from Sky Campus student, students from colleges across the United States and across the globe. So a student from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte is asking, Gurudev, while in college, it was so easy to put service into my schedule. How do I continue that level of service activity while working a nine to five job and maintaining other life responsibilities? Yes, you know, sometimes you like to do something which is of interest and which is not connected with your career or with your studies. But here you need to balance. As a student, you can't leave either of them. You can't ignore either of them. So, when it is a lean period, you can engage in activities like the service activity and other activities. But in exam time, no way. Focus fully on the studies. Okay? Mm. And know that you can do it. First of all, you have to believe you can do you can do multitasking. Yeah? You have the ability to do. Yeah. Another student wants to know, how do I find my life's purpose? Well, you have this very question that is very good. Give a first pat on your back. Many people don't even think that they, they have a purpose in life or they want to find it. Right? They simply exist. They simply feel like they are on a conveyor belt and they are moving around. Their life takes, takes them. But this is good question. I want to tell you a secret. Anyone who knows will not tell you. And someone who tries to blabber and keep telling you a lot of words, they don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is a, but this is, this indicates you have a vehicle. This question itself is a vehicle for you to move on. And nobody will take away, one who is wise will take away the vehicle and ask you to go to your goal, right? No. An anonymous student who feels that they represent many students out there is asking, I feel really hopeless to the point that I have given up looking for someone for a romantic relationship. I don't really want to get back out there. I just kind of want it to happen. I feel like it's not going to happen unless I make it happen, but I don't want to come off as desperate to the universe. What do I do? Yeah, you already got half the code. Not show your desperation. That is the half of the code. The next half of the code, you have forgotten. The next few numbers of the code is keep your spirit high, be cheerful, be exuberant. Then why would not anybody come and be with you? People who love your company, when they see you are here, you know, with full of joy and enthusiasm, and you are there only to give, everyone will flock around you. Then you have choices you can choose. Okay? <laughs> One student wants to know, how is the consciousness just there? Did anyone create it? If not, then please explain. Thank you, Gurudev. Yes, you know, when you want to find the origin of something, you are thinking linear. You've seen something started somewhere, something is going to end somewhere. Anything that starts has to end, right? But I want to ask you a counter question. Tell me which is the beginning point of a tennis ball? Where does the tennis ball begin? Have you thought about it? Fine dance. Which is the beginning of any sphere? Huh? There is the answer, find that out. Senna from George Washington University is asking, I am having trouble finding a job in my field. I have the education for sure, but I don't have the experience yet. 
How can I make up for my lack of professional experience in finding my first job out of college? See, see life in a bigger context, my dear. Every failure is a step towards success. And these failures are too small for you. They cannot engulf your whole spirit. Okay? And those success you aim at are, again, is nothing too big for you to have. Yeah? See life from a bigger context. You are much bigger than these things. And there are ample examples. You look around. People who have become so-called successful people, they all had had failures in their lives. Many high school dropouts, college dropouts, have become big industrialists, have become entrepreneurs, have started many um, industries and they have been source of uh, livelihood for millions of people. Yeah? So something big must be there for you, don't worry. Another student wants to know, it's really important for me to be able to share the spiritual aspects of my life with someone that I'm dating. But I feel like in the United States, and in particularly the South, this is hard for me to find. Most of my options don't have a similar spiritual background. How do I date or move forward in finding a relationship with someone who shares similar spiritual values? Well... You already heard there are 107 universities and, <laughs> and more than 200,000 students have done so and half of them are from the other sex. <laughs> so you have choices. Yeah. But you know one thing? Every human being is spiritual. You shouldn't be too choosy. Someone you think were very spiritual, there is no guarantee they'll stay like that for their whole lifetime. What, do you, what if they turn around and become too materialistic, too egotistic, too greedy? I mean, human mind is such, it can go this way, that way. You can't expect a saint from everybody. Correct? Yeah? So, number one, don't be too choosy. Second, anyone can be spiritual at any time, any point of time. And it is nothing much for someone to gain a sense of knowledge. It just takes just a week's time, that's all. So, follow your gut feeling. Don't think too much from your head, okay? You, you, you cannot smell things from your ear. You have to place it in your nose to smell. <laughs> okay? Similarly, when you want to choose your life partner, you cannot do it only through the head. You have to go from the gut feeling. Got it? <laughs> See, otherwise you think and think and think and then if you think too much, it will show on your face and finally you select someone, they will reject you. You just imagine someone whom you've fallen in love with. Just, just an imagination. <laughs> and they are judging you all the time. They're thinking whether you are this way, that way. Every little thing you, you say, they turn it around, twist it, and they keep thinking on it too much. How do you feel? Just looking at the face, what do you feel? Oh my God, this person is somewhere lost. <laughs> Don't you say that? Huh? You know, too much explanation, too much uh, of judging 
all leaves you high and dry. It leaves you in your head. Right? Just be natural. And go with an understanding that your know, mind is mind and people have all sorts of judgments, opinions and worries. Have you heard about this? <clears throat> that 85% of the worries you have never happens. <laughs> this is the latest research from some one of your university. They have found out 85% of the worries that normally a person has never happens. And 90% uh, of the rest of the worry, 90% of the, that 15% that what is left, they can easily manage. And what is, what you are left with is only 3%. Really, three percent that you have to be concerned. That's all. The so same with the judgments too. Look back and see how many of your judgments have stood up correct. Huh? Isn't it? Over a period of time, you feel like laughing at yourself, oh my God, I was judging like that on this person, on that person. Yeah. Whether good or bad, either way, it can go either way. Yeah. Parul from University of Delhi and 137 other students are asking, how do I get over my anxiety to interact <laughs> with people socially? Will you do something if I suggest you? Sure. Just act like a buffoon one day. <laughs> just be a crazy person just for one day. Go like that. Ah. <laughs> Make a face. Act like you are nuts for one day. With your friends at home, with your colleagues. That's it. You'll overcome all those fears. Yeah. Not even one day. Half a day good enough. Half you know in the carnival and in all these some even some festivals, people dress in all sorts of crazy ways. There is a scientific uh, idea behind that. To break this monotonous idea about oneself and about respect and the fear of rejection, fear of being laughed about, to, to get over all this, you act differently, you know. Just for a day you do that. But since on a carnival day everybody does that, you feel comfortable. Do it one day when nobody does it. <laughs> then you will be point of uh, attention. And everybody's attention is on you, then you will see, you'll snip, snap out of that. You know, I was also very shy, I tell you. In my teenage, I was very shy. I would not sit in big crowds, I would run away. But one day in Switzerland, I decided I'm going to wear dhoti and walk there. In the cold, in the snow, when I was walking with dhoti, everyone was looking at me. <laughs> Who is this creature who has come? <laughs> Everybody is wearing thick coats and everything. It was in my teenage. Like that. And nothing mattered to me afterwards. Yeah? Always my dad would have many parties, many people come home and all that. He was a very big socialite. So he would want to introduce me. I will say, hi, hello, and I will run away. <laughs> you know, the generation gap with the children are very much there. In those days, it was even more. In the 60s, it was much more, you know. You only respect the elders and then 
you shy away, you don't, you don't get participate in this much. You just do it, break, you have to take a step to break your monotony and you are worried about what others will think about you, you know, you'll snap out of it. Yeah, next. Another student would like to know what is the best way to keep being motivated and energized while studying, especially when there's a lot to study and there never seems to be enough time. Meditation. Meditation can improve your um, memory. You know? It can give you photographic memory. And in between studies, you must also listen to some music. Do you get it? If you are just taxing only your left brain, study, study, study too much, then you get tired and you can't retain whatever you study. You have to alternate that with your right brain activity. That is, listen to music, flute music, string music, even for five, ten minutes. Or stand up and do some dance, put on some music. Better music without any words in it. This is more, more impactful, more powerful. Music with no language, no words, because you cannot remember them. You cannot catch it. Words, you will start repeating it in your mind. Words make an impression in your memory. But just pure sound without words, has a different type of impact on the brain without you having to, uh, without having to tap into that area of memory. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't think many of, we, many of us even paid attention to it. The music, just the sound without uh, instrumental sounds or even vocal sound, without a word cannot just uh, register, yeah? Look into this. I think even voice also, without words, voice can also register, but just the pure sound of drum, uh, or string instrument, or flute, piano, this cannot just, uh, you know, occupy the memory. Dear Guruji, there seems to be an increase in gender fluidity in the past decade. Why is this, and how can we support people who are experiencing this? Education. All sorts of prejudice, whether against gender or race or religion or nationality, is part of lack of proper education. You know, we need to educate people, educate in higher values concerning life. How to be yourself and calm when another person triggers you? <laughs> Trigger, uh, invoke the valor in you. Other person is triggering so that you can show you a valor, be strong, you know. It's difficult, I know. People can trigger in you, bring out the worst in you. Here again, meditation, regular meditation can help you not be such a reactive uh, bomb. You know? Otherwise you are like a time bomb, you are like some 
you just get triggered out by somebody and you start bursting. So meditation will give you that strength um, and it takes you away from being a um, bomb that gets triggered to um, someone who is very stable and How do we deal with global warming? We are facing a big crisis. We have to change our ways of life. But is it too late? And will it be enough to just change our ways of life? I'm glad that young people today all over the world are concerned about this and are taking action. The younger generation is not as consumeristic as uh, the people of the past generation, isn't it? They are not worried about showing off with their Cadillac or with their Rolls Royce and things like that. Younger generation is more concerned about the planet Earth and what big they can do. That's a welcome change. My dear, you know, 42 years ago when we started, when I would talk about environment, people would raise the eyebrows. What, which planet he has come from? What is he talking? Development cannot go along with this sort of saving tree and saving river and all. Who cares? You know, trees are plenty in abundance in the planet. We have to move, move, move more, in, um, more vigorously on the industrial front. This was the mindset. But fortunately today, Every country on this planet, almost every country has a Ministry of Environment. And a lot more awareness about saving our planet, saving environment, green energy, you know, uh, moving away from fossil energy, all these things are happening. So, I think we are moving the right direction. Promote more vegetarianism and less use of plastics. Pay more attention to saving fuel and electricity. You know how much food we waste in this country, in America? My goodness. It's in billions of dollars. Every day, several billion dollar worth of food is being thrown in the ocean. And we put all this food in the fridge. This, is, this shows how insecure we are about food. And after a few days, it's not worth eating, we throw it. Yeah? So, we can create this sort of awareness in people, not to waste food and, yeah, contribute to global food security. There are places in the world today, in Eastern Europe, in Africa, they are starving. Even in England, in UK, many people, millions, have had only one meal a day. Did you hear about that article? That is surprising. So, <clears throat> one war could shoot, one war somewhere in Europe, nothing to do with America, could shoot up the food prices here so much, isn't it? Yeah. So we are all connected in the globe. We must think beyond our, our borders, beyond our affiliations and our limited mindset but to think big now, think global yeah be human and think global that should be our mo logo <clears throat> motto, motto sad, sad, motto Gurdav, how do I get over imposter syndrome? the feeling like I am not good enough or smart, or as deserving as other students in my program? 
you must take a silent retreat here in the boon ashram or anywhere where there is an art of living campus we have one in germ we have, it it keeps happening many places you must do the silent retreat in four days you will see it's different yeah and if it still traces of it persists repeat it couple of times it can rejuvenate you and strengthen you beyond your wildest imagination yeah how do i move further in spirituality and to be consistent in spiritual practices like meditation well it's like brushing your teeth if you ask me how do i cultivate brushing the teeth and taking a shower every day it is so difficult what would i say hey, come on you can do it so make it uh, take a vow to yourself okay i will not have my breakfast or lunch or dinner without sitting those 20 minutes even if i'm bored even if i do even if i'm not getting anything i'm just going to sit for 20 minutes if you take this vow for say three months you will see how it automatically fits into your system you need to program your system with meditation then you'll see maybe three days out of seven days you meditate you may not experience anything maybe even four days but the two days at least you'll find a deep relaxation something is happening inside of no to help you go deep in meditation i made so many meditation guided meditations put it, put your ear phones on it or uh, keep your phone in front of it and log on to our app art of living app is there the satwa app is there you just there are number of meditations put that and then sit and meditate yeah that's such a today you are so fortunate you are in such a technological era any knowledge anything you need it's the it's on your ting- fingertips i can search on your in your phone you'll get that and so do so is also meditation yeah definitely download this one okay art of living app and then the satwa app and you'll get that. I wish I could be more independent and have my own space. It's been a struggle living with my parents over the last few years. How can I find my own path or my own ways of living while still living with them? Well, the generation gaps is the cause for this. But you know something your parents love you a lot and anything they say to you or do to you is not for themselves but because they are so concerned they are so caring so loving sometimes it could be so stifling for you but you should walk the middle path you know you follow your passion and listen to them too it cannot be one way if you say only okay you always stow that line of your parents it will be too stifling and frustrating at some time you, you know you will feel uh, not good about yourself on the other side if you become a rebel and don't listen to them at all not good either so you need to choose that middle path sometimes you go with their wishes sometimes you insist on your wishes find that balance okay done can we do one more one more one more <laughs> one last one okay a person wants health wealth and relationships to live a happy and successful life i want to ask when it comes to prioritizing which one should i choose first health wealth and relationships relationship okay one all the three 
which one to prioritize mm -hmm. which one should i choose first when prioritizing oh it's very simple look for a rich healthy <laughs> Person, you got all the three. <laughs> yeah, that's very simple. Okay, <laughs> but mind you, what type of wealth? That you have to be specific. Some may be very wealthy with the bank account. Some are very wealthy in their characters, in their qualities of life. Some may be very wealthy in their intellect. Some may be very wealthy in their heart. So, that you have to choose, okay? Thank you, Gurudev. Okay. Done?